Yo, hi guys, Dane here. I'm doing this for the thumbnail, can you tell? Uh, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's currently about half nine on Monday the 13th of September. I am reading Chapter House June. I'm about two thirds of the way through it. And I'm about to go and do some more of that now. I'm just filming my intro because I've just done, done the outro to the last vlog, so you gotta do that for continuity, you know what I mean? Know what I mean, fam? Oh, I wanna get a new tattoo, but the tattoo parlor isn't replying to my message. Dane reads. 14th of September, Tuesday the 14th of September, my phone's pinging at me, 20 to 8, I've got an interview at 8 with a lady called, what's her name, begins with M, anyway, I can't remember, Melanie, yes, Melanie, um, about, she's doing a film screening at Wickham Arts Centre, so she's going to be a guest on my radio show, so I've got that coming up, uh, I finished reading Chapter House June, it was like 3 out of 5, probably, the series took a bit of a dive to be honest so I'm, and now next after this I've only got the Brian Herbert ones um, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to enjoy those. I've just started reading The Fall by Albert Camus. Um, so what else is new? I've just been doing loads more work really. Um, didn't hear anything about the house today so I'll try and give you guys an update on that tomorrow. We'll see where we get. Um, but I did do some stuff. I went to the post office and posted off a bunch of copies of the Lexicologist handbook um, to people who bought signed copies. So thank you to everybody who's done that. If you want one let me know and we'll sort that out. Um, and I also did some laundry which is good. I've done most of my housework. So my next job's really at some point I need to like paint the walls in here because they're a bit, they're just knackered. I don't know man, we'll see. Biggie's coming over, aren't you Biggs? You coming over to say hello in the video? Let him pick you up. Kenny, pick you up. Here he is. You've been having a nice snoozy day today, haven't you Biggie? Just been chilling with daddy on the sofa. Oh, you smell so beautiful. Right, let's put you down. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've had some stuff in the post as well, so I'm gonna go and haul that. I need to do my wrap-up update, because I've read like seven or eight books since I did my last wrap-up update, so I need to do that. So we've got vlog, wrap-up, filmed a bit of music earlier for the Open Mic Slate group, and then I've got a whole ton of uh, reviews to do as well. So uh, I'm gonna go and do that, and I'll do my interview in a bit. Yo, it's me. Um, it is, what is it? It's Thursday the 16th of September, 7.30pm. No progress on the house. Lawyers are still fucking about, as they do. Um, at least here I've done most of my housework now, so I can go for a shower in a little bit, uh, do some editing, do a little bit more work. Uh, I've just found out I've got a gig on Saturday afternoon uh, that me and Dave are going to play as like the duo version of the ilk. So that'd be good, um, and then Saturday night there's a gig where some of my friends are playing in memory of my friend who passed away at the end of, I think it was at the end of July. Um, so we're going to go to that show some support, raise some money for the Samaritans. Um, and then Sunday we might be going to a pub called The Bell for an open mic there, where we might take the full band along and just jam for a while. So that's all that stuff. Hopefully tomorrow the house stuff will get sorted. We're basically... Oh, so the, the seller's lawyer has to send a letter to my lawyers just to confirm something. That's all we need. We've been waiting for 10 days now. Basically, he took over four months and he didn't do anything to try and solve this problem. So we were like, fine, we'll solve it. You just need to put that the problem is there in writing. And now we've started trying to solve the problem, but it's going to take like six weeks to solve it. And we don't have six weeks. So fuck knows what he's doing. He just needs to send this letter. And then once he does that, it will take five days to complete. So we're hoping if he sends the letter tomorrow, then we should be able to close by the end of next week. But then we were meant to be closing at the end of this week, but he's just wasted a week doing fuck all. Anyway, books wise, I finished reading The Fall by Albert Camus, 4.5 out of 5, very good. Um, it kind of takes the form of a narrative of a, a Parisian lawyer who's in Amsterdam and he's telling a stranger in a bar his story basically. That's a very simplified version of it, it's very philosophical, uh, just really good, full review coming soon. I also read Asterix et les Lombards par Argus and Yeye Derso. C'est un bon dessinat en français. En anglais, it's a graphic novel. Et oui, bien. Um, C'était très drôle et, uh, you know, jamais le livre. Uh, bring on more Asterix books. Uh, although, actually, my next bedtime read uh, is going to be La Chute par Albert Camus, which is the original French version of The, the, the Fall. So, Looking forward to that, I actually started it yesterday. Um, and then I've been reading Congo by Michael Crichton, which 
It's a very interesting read. Um, it's very dated because like the technology in it. Like at one point, he was talking about what basically is the internet, and he was saying, "But people aren't sure it's possible because there's not enough metal in the earth to make it." And it's like, "Well, it it happened, mate." So. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it still. There's also a, a gorilla in it that communicates using sign language and it's so batshit crazy that this gorilla did a parachute jump out of a plane. That tells you all you need to know about this book. But yeah, I am enjoying it, cracking on through it. Uh, when I finish this, I'm going to go back to Creations by Isaac Asimov. Um, so basically, it's got some non-fiction in it, which is really dry, and then it's got some sci-fi, which is actually quite good, all on the subject of creation. Um, so what I do is I'm reading that, I'm reading a bunch of the sci-fi and then when I get to part of the non-fiction I substitute that as my bedtime book and pick up something else so slowly going through it you know. My uh, unread pile is currently at 26 books which isn't a low, I think my record low I got down to 22 um, so back up to 26 but saying that as far as I know I have no books on their way to me in the post so um, yeah should get back down sub 20 soon. I'd like, I, I mean, I just, yeah, fuck it. I want to move house, mate. Hello, everybody, it's me. It is 10.15 p.m. on Sunday the 19th of September. Busy old weekend. Bookwise, I finished reading Fragile Things by Neil Gaiman. Uh, I gave this like a three out of five. I, I find Gaiman very hit and miss. There was an, an American Gods novella at the end of this, which I really enjoyed. But other than that, just a lot of filler. Uh, to begin with, I liked his poetry in it. And then by the end, I was like, oh, no, another poem. Um, but I, I don't know, I just sometimes, basically, I generally would say I'm not a Neil Gaiman fan. But then there are one or two books here and there which I really do enjoy. Uh, this wasn't really one of them. So yeah, three, three out of five. Um, review coming soon, but I don't have much to say about it really. Uh, and now I'm reading Cre Creations uh, by Isaac Asimov, uh, George Zabrowski and Martin H. Greenberg. It's basically an anthology of sci-fi, fiction, and then a bit of non-fiction as well, all about the creations of the universe. And basically what I'm doing with this is I'm reading the sci-fi and then every time I get to one of the non-fiction bits because they're super dry and not particularly interesting to me, I then sub this out as my bedtime book and then read the non-fiction in bed um, and then carry on with it. So it's been very stop and starty but I'm about halfway through. I've got The Rising Sun by Michael Crichton next as my next main book. And uh, my current bedtime book is How The Howard Marks Book of Dope Stories but I only have like about 210 pages left to go of that. Um, so I'm about two thirds of the way through of it, and it's it's all right. But um, yeah, that's what I'm at. So life updates. You might hear some noise. That is the cat down there. Life updates. Nothing new with the house. We're still the same position I was in this time last week. We've now figured out. So the the seller's lawyer. There's this problem with the land registry, and the seller's lawyer filed a request to get it fixed uh, last Friday or last Monday, I think. Um, but the land registry takes 10 working days to process it, so it shouldn't be finished until the week after next. And then there's another five working days while the, pro while the sale goes through. But if he just provides us with a, a document that basically says this is the problem, I'm aware of it, etc. Then we can go ahead with the purchase regardless of whether he fixes this or not. So it's kind of doing my head in a bit. But hey ho, um, I don't know, maybe I'll have some news next week, maybe I won't. Uh, other stuff, I went to Qatari Lounge on Friday at the Art Centre, so this is like an under 18s open mic. Uh, somebody else was working it, so I was kind of there to supervise and I had my laptop with me as well. Did a few bits, um, was just kind of generally productive, so that was alright. Um, not many people there though. Then on Saturday, me and my friend Dave, uh, we were in the band The Ilk, and uh, we played a gig at the Rising Sun in Ickford, and it was all live streamed as well. If I remember, I'll link below to where you can check out the live stream if you want to and we'll probably be nicking the footage to put on the Ilk Facebook page as well. And then in the evening we went to, there was a gig at the Phoenix, which is like a local rock bar. Um, but I don't know, I was a little bit down and depressed because um, it, it was a remembrance gig for my friend who, who committed suicide, uh, like a fundraiser gig for a mental health charity. So it was a good cause and stuff, but it's just weird because I wasn't drinking and there were just all these really pretty girls there in fishnet stockings and stuff and I'm just there and they're like doing shots and stuff and doing slut drops and all this stuff and I'm just there with my lemonade being like I feel so old I'm gonna die alone as well but that's alright because we've got the cat so uh, yeah I stayed there for about an hour and a half and saw a band called Mostyn who were very good uh, then I didn't see my friend's band The Phenomenon so I just came home after that because again I wasn't feeling too great and just watched some YouTube and did some work I've been cleaning the kitchen and like I've repainted most of the kitchen I've repainted the walls, the ceiling and most of the cupboards uh, got a little bit more painting left to do there I'm um, going to paint the cupboard doors as well. 
I'm basically trying to do what I can to make it look okay so that when I when I hand it over even if I don't get my deposit back at least he'll see that I've made an effort and try not to ask me for even more money and stuff because for example there's some stuff like there's a window that's broken will need fixing the carpets are knackered so they need replacing so I'm just fixing what I can you know uh, and then yesterday when I woke up I went to the vegan uh, there's a vegan market in town so I went to that and I got uh, some cake I had a burger while I was there and I got some sun dried tomatoes and some chili olives as well and then I went to the art centre because there was a psychic fair there or a health and well-being fair uh, but it was a psychic fair um, so I didn't actually go in I just helped to lock up and stuff but yeah that was alright uh, and then I've been back home being productive haven't I Biggie? Yeah, do you want to say hello? Yes, this is a reward for everybody who's watched this far because, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Mwah. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more. And me and Biggie, we'll see you soon in another bookish video, won't we, Biggie? Thanks a lot. Bye!